Well, I thought I'd do one of those unboxing videos today. I've just got hold of this Manfrotto B3 tripod. Um, or it won't break the surprise of what the color's gonna be, but I've never before had a choice in what color I wanted my tripod to be. But um, the only problem with unboxing like this is it comes through the post and I think, ah, oh, I can't wait to get my teeth into that, but I need to hang on so that I can make sure I record it and let you see it. But um, I know people like the, the um, unboxing things. Uh, I do myself. So let's have a look. It's like a magic trick. <laughs> Is it going to be red? Is it going to be green? So many decisions you have to make buying a tripod these days. Never mind the quality and the weight of it. What colour is it going to be? That is really sweet, isn't it? Nice little bag. So straight off, before I even get into this then, a very good usable little bag, um, very comfy. I could take that around with me if need be. This is my thinking for looking at this tripod really. It's wanting something that I can take out with me and use just, you know, there's shots of little flowers and things, just be able to set something up on a tripod. Um, the amount of times I've been out, we were on holiday recently and I wanted to get sunset. Um, and I end up like trying to put my bag in a position and rest the camera on it and stuff. And I think if I'd got a comfortable tripod that I could take around, my, my tripod at the minute is massive and it's a bit of a faff. So that's the point of this. It's a nice travel. This is the aluminium one. Um, this is about 139 pounds. They do do a carbon fiber one that's a lot dearer, but obviously it's lighter and more portable. But um, here you go, it's the red one. And now we're going to do a lot of videos with this. I want to do a, I'm going to do a proper review on it once I've used it. There's not a lot of me talking. I, I haven't even seen this yet other than on the website. So um, I just wanted to do an unboxing. So we've got to turn this right the way around then. That's a great compact way that they put that together. By the looks of it, yeah, this will lock in to position so I can decide how far I want this to come out. I'll suss that properly. Very excited. So here it is. And then you let that center column down. And um, yeah, so that's it at its shortest. How big do we think that's gonna go? I should just show you as well in here then. So you get an instruction book and then that's your um, quick release plate that'll go on top of here. So a nice, simple little ball head joint. But Manfrotto, I've always used, well, Professionally, I've always used Manfrotto kit. Um, I've got everything from a light stand that can go eight meters in the air for when I'm doing my virtual tours. Uh, that's Manfrotto, my boom arm that I use, and then my, by day I do virtual tours, 360 tours. I have some heavy kit, uh, and I've got a um, 055, I think it is, the Manfrotto tripod I use. So as a brand, I've used them for years, and I've never had any problems. Uh, the makes that I've had, tend to go a bit soft and loose in the joints. Um, even magic arms and things like that that you get that you can attach on to things. Um, other cheaper makes I've been tempted to go with and Manfrotto have never let me down. So I love the brand um, and we're gonna have fun with this. But even straight off this, it's, it's a, a small ball head joint, that's what I wanted. But even this control feels nice and tight and rigid and I've got confidence that that's gonna stay in place. Um, let's just have a quick see. So a nice quick release on these legs. So from something so small, it's gonna come out to that. So I can get it to there, and then I guess by sending this up as well, that's pretty impressive. So it'll go right up here, What's that kind of 150 um, 
centimeters high, I'm guessing, and it'll then just fall away to something so small that fits in here. That is so versatile, so good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy having a go with this over the next few weeks and look out, keep uh, posted on the channel here and I will do an update for you with a new video. All right, thanks very much, see you soon. Remember to subscribe, remember to jump over to our Facebook group. We've got a photographers group there dedicated to photographers just wanting to chat around about stuff that we're doing. So all that's in the description. I look forward to seeing more of you. Thanks for now.